Hey Mike. Hey Dan. I'm Sean. Sean from Nerds. I mean, wait, nope. <coughs> uh, this is another episode of As Beer Swirls. We're FL Beer Reviews. I feel like that's what we are. I'm Dan. I am still, still Mike. Mike, but, but yeah, yeah. Okay. Dan, what are we drinking? Uh, Mike, this is a beer, courtesy of Stephen, a.k.a. Steven the Resource, is his uh, name. who coincidentally also sent a beer to uh, Nerd Sense, but oh, they didn't else. want to collab with us, so. Oh, this... Go down like their video if they ever reviewed this. Sean's like, I'm not collabing with you. Yeah. Uh, this I here is um, a beer from Thimble Island. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm thinking about the heartbreak that I've gone through. I thought we were friends. We've thought that about a lot of people. Yeah. It's been cast by the wayside. The only true friend, I think, well, That's only funny. your friend is Kyle over at No Hype Beer Reviews. <laughs> he didn't want to hang out with me. All right, oh uh, this God. is uh, a beer from the Thimble uh. Island Brewing Company, and this is their Mutually, mutually Assured, Assured Destruction. Destruction Imperial Style Aged in Bourbon Barrels, 10% ABV. It's Imperial Style Aged in Bourbon Barrels from Litchfield Distillery, and this was barrel aged for 24 months, and this is the 2021 in the variant. Uh, so I believe they're out of Bramford, Connecticut? Yes, Bramford, Connecticut. So, uh, yeah. That label's it's, awesome. It, it's classic. I have such high hopes for this beer, just yeah. based on the label alone. Um, it, so here's the thing. We've had now two beers from these guys, and I believe both of them were all mystery beers. I think you're right. <laughs> yeah. Like, okay. if it's a mystery beer, I'm going to start. I, of, if Steven ever sends us more beer, if it's a mystery beer, I'm, I'm just going to call it. I'm like, I'll do it. I'm like, yeah, that's Thimble Island. Probably yeah. a Thimble Island. Yeah. <laughs> He's covering the cap and everything. Oh. Well, we've let this warm up. Yes, we have. This should be good to go. Oh, my. Oh my. Not much had. No, Come on, let's see if I can swirl okay. it up before we showcase uh, the sun. That's okay. Nope. Not a bit. That's cool. All right. Way. Nice little thin layer of film we had, but it is very, very dark brown. There is a thin little sliver of a reddish Whoa! brown. Oh, but... I, I just, just right. snuck right. the bourbon. All right. Uh, might as well get away then. Talk to daddy. Oh, there is some very pleasant dark chocolate, stone fruit. Uh, there's some plum in there. there there's raspberry in there. Uh, brown sugar. Um, oh, there's a, there's a bit of ethanol in there, too. Yeah. Uh, definitely. Oh, brown sugar, absolutely. Definitely some charred oak. Oh, the bourbon notes are very mm. pleasant. That smells wonderful. A little toffee. With lots of oak that uh, now yeah. that I get into it. The, 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 the woody aspects of it, the, that barrel air uh, note is just, it's so pleasant. There, there's so much going on in the, in the aroma. Oh, man. A little dirty, dirty feet. Gym oh, yeah. socks. Yeah. Oof, okay. A little grape, maybe? Yeah, I can see the grape, yeah. actually. Cheers. Thanks, resource. Oh, my gosh. Right off the bat, it's a bit thin. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A bit thin, 10% ABV. What is that? That's beer. I don't know. This might be from that A bar. Um. Ooh, I keep talking. I'm, I can't figure out what that. I can't pinpoint what that note is. It's. I. I believe it. I think I know what you're talking about. I believe it to be star anise, black licorice. Okay. Yeah. That, mm, that might be it. Like, I, it's definitely, definitely chocolate forward, uh, with that nice layer of charred oak but down the back end there is uh, for me i'm getting black licorice star indies um very nice dark chocolate a little coca-cola too grape coca-cola notes that's a good pull too um black licorice uh i get a real nice like subtle hints of like cigar paper 
in there. Oh, okay, yeah. Um, a little leathery? Yeah, it's, it's almost trying to have just a super minute hint of smokiness to it. A um, little... And grapes like turning into almost like fig newton uh because there's still there's little bits of breadiness in there too um man this is tasty there's a subtle there's a subtle mm-hmm. um i was gonna say there's a subtle hint of toasted marshmallow okay i can see that coconut too Ooh. Star anise and coconut. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Wow. That's why I love these barrel aged beers. You can sit on them, sip them, and he, he, you end up pulling nine flavors that you didn't get yeah. the previous few sips. Like we and can then, drink this for the next half hour and get new things. Yeah. It's going to continue to open up and blossom. I think it's very, uh, very dark fruit forward. Mm-hmm. I think that, that and so uh, what do you. Talk to me about like the the bourbon aspects of it. So with the bourbon, like I'm definitely in that charred oak, right? Mm-hmm. But to me, I'm getting um, there's a bit of rye spice there in the back end. Oh, okay. So at first, I thought it was like the ethanol, like from the alcohol, mm-hmm. but at only ten yeah. percent. I'm leaning more towards. I think it's more of a rye spice. Anything. Okay, that makes sense because when I got that ethanol note on the aroma, mm-hmm. I don't think it's coming through like that at all on the palate. Yeah. You know? So, so but there, there, like, there is something else in there, but it's not the straight ethanol. It's like a very. There is like this little floral peppery twinge at the end mm-hmm. that has like this very touch of citrus aspects, but just stays lingering with that burn, which I. That's why I think it's kind of rye. Forward. Um, okay. I, I feel like probably the barrel played a really big character in introducing that kind of honey aspect mm. uh, to it that you're getting. Okay. Like that. And I, I feel like it melded with like that brown sugar, dark chocolate thing mm. and kind of brought us to where we are. Um, I can't. I wonder how the whiskey was. I don't know if it was a young whiskey or whatever, but. Overall. Mm. It's a it's a really enjoyable, pleasant sipper. Um, it is thin. It's thin and it's a bit undercarbed. Yeah, but actually, I mean, okay there is the other carb. Yeah, but I'm okay with that. Yeah, I, I just wish it was had a little a more lot, body oomph. to it. Yeah, a little more oomph. for ever, for what's going on in this beer and the ABV, mm-hmm. I, I want a little bit more. Now, here's the thing. I didn't want to say it until we were kind of maybe. Having a bunch out, but I do get there's a l- touch of oxidation. Okay, for me. Okay, a little just teeny weeny bit. I can tell it's an older beer. A little cardboard nature to it. It's it's you know what it's it's more like paper. It's not even cardboard. It's yeah. just like this. You can tell it's it's a dusty beer. Okay, if that makes sense. Um, maybe maybe a year less on this. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Hmm. I'm still I'm glad we got to drink this. Oh definitely. This is... I I don't want to knock it. Just, oh not at all. Some beers you could just tell it's yeah, it got some dust on it. But I uh, yeah, the body kinda holds it back. Yeah. Uh, for me I gotta give it like a I think I'm sitting at a four. I was gonna say three nine. Okay. Uh, it, honestly, I think it's the body's really knocking it down for me. Yeah. Um, it's I. There is. This is still a good beer, uh, but I, I would enjoy some more heft to this beer. And like you said, it is a touch old. Maybe that's where I was getting that cigar paper from. Maybe. Maybe. Okay. Or maybe I'm crazy and you're getting cigar. Mm. So I'm glad we got to drink this. Yeah. Uh, all right. Down in the description below, Stephen. Thank Resource. you, bro. Good man. Um, I always, it's always a pleasure getting, uh, beverages from you. Um, it really is. Especially the, the, the <laughs> kingdom of wonder that is your basement. <laughs> the stuff he just pulls out of his basement and goes, I'm not going to drink this. I'll just send it out. And just, you see like 
Kyle, Nerd Sense, like all those guys get like just by, you're like, oh, I wonder what he found for them too. And it's like an archival, <laughs> just corticopia down there. I'll put it this way. If there was a zombie apocalypse, I know eventually where my path's going to lead <laughs> if I'm craving the booze. All paths lead to Steven. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, gang. Uh, hopefully you uh, stay clear of that zombie apocalypse out there and find yourself some uh, decent barrel goodness. Do your best. As uh, we did. So thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers.